Good day! In today's lesson, we will be dealing with a poem which is entitled On Liberty and Slavery, written by George Moses Horton. So last time I told you to read the story in advance. So let us recall what you read by giving you the summary interpretation of the poem. So for stanza number one, the poem begins with the persona questioning himself being a slave. So he wished to be freed from the chains that holding him down. He stated that he wasn't able to experience happiness because of the struggles and pain he is experiencing. So the colonizers or the Europeans forced him to work in the plantation. So it was noted that Africans were bought and sold like objects during those times. In stanza number two, we can see here that the persona is keep on complaining for his situation. So you can really feel his desires for freedom. For stanza number three, the persona is so distressed that he even address or call the heaven. So calling the heaven means he is greatly suffering from pain, physically, mentally, and emotionally. In stanza number four, here the persona is calling for liberty. So liberty means to do or choose what you want to do. So to be able to act and speak freely, to be free. So for him, just hearing the word liberty is already music to his ruined ears. So he wanted this liberty to end his sufferings and drive away his fears. So in stanzas number 5 to 6, the persona wanted to end oppression. So oppression means cruel or unjust treatment or control. So he wanted the colonizers to free the servants, including him, free as the birds in the sky. For stanzas number 7 to 8, for the persona, liberty is like a grand prize that before you get it, you must shed blood first. So we can see that the persona is longing for the enslaved, enslaved men to end and feel the freedom that God gives to all his people. So the persona will have freedom if and only if the colonizers and their barbaric way of living will end. So barbaric means uncivilized, cruel, and brutal. So for stanza number nine, the persona wishes to be like a swan who's comfortable in resting in its nest. So he wanted to go back to his place and be able to smile again. And for the last stanza, even though the persona is struggling, he still hopes that one day the problem or whatever he experienced will end soon like a storm that soon passes. So that's the end of our poem. I hope you learned something today. Thank you.